Hi, uh, this is Charlie Calvert. Why don't we do a little simple unit testing with PyDev. So let's go ahead and start a new Python project. We'll press Alt-Shift-N, which brings up a little menu which lets us create a new Python project. And we'll go ahead and we'll call this Python Test 03. And we'll just take all the defaults. So now we'll go down to the Python test 03 project and let's create our test. So we'll add a new PyDev module. Let's put it in a calc.test package and let's call it test calc. <clears throat> so we're going to create a main package called calc and we're going to create another package called test and we'll put our main files in calc and our unit test files in test. So we'll go ahead and press finish and you can see that that's exactly what happened. We've created a package called calc and nested inside it one called test and inside of test we've got our unit test set up here. So let's go ahead and create a main class for our project and we'll call this test calc and we'll make it a unit test and after you've typed in a little bit you can just press control space and it'll let you go ahead and automatically add your import statement and then let's make this a test case since that's the proper way to create a class that we want to use for testing and then probably around now might not be a bad time to create the class that we want to test so we'll say from calc.calculator import calculator. So what we're saying is here is inside of our calc package create a file called calculator small c and, in, and um, then we'll create a class called calculator that will reside inside of it. And in order to create all that we're just going to press control 1 and it pops up this option create calculator class at new module calc calculator and we'll go ahead and accept that option and now you can see over here that we've created a file called calculator.py and inside of it we've got a class called calculator so I'll just press control s to save that and then control tab to come back to our tests okay so let's write the test itself. We're going to define a test called test add. And now here at this point we can press shift enter and we'll just move to the next line without having to go to the end of the line before doing it. And now let's go ahead and create um, an instance of our calculator class. So we go ahead and we type that and now we can press control 1 and we can assign this class that we've defined to a local variable so that was control 1 to get to this option and now there's our calculator local variable and again we just press shift enter to move to the next line without having to go to the end of the line first and then let's write calculator dot add and let's define the parameters that we want for this method. So we'll call it operand A equals 2 and operand B equals 3. So now we've defined a method, we've called a method called add on our instance of the calculator class but the add method doesn't exist yet and of course by now you can probably guess you press control 1 and it says create add method or add field and we said we want to create the method the second of the two options that are available to us there and I'll press enter and it went over here and as you can see it's actually created the method that we needed and now we'll just define it we'll return operand A plus operand B with our um, to create a simple method that we can test and again we'll do a control tab to go back here and now at this stage we want to have a, a result variable so we're going to press control 1 again 
and it says assign to local variable the results of this uh, call and so I'll press enter and let's rename that variable to result and again control um, and rather shift enter to move to the next line and then what we want to do now is assert that this worked correctly let's actually run our test so we write self dot assert equal and we can say is result and I tab to get to the next option equal to 5 and tabbed and we can define a message in case we have an error um, we'll just keep it simple for now so now we've written our tests um, in order to actually run them what we can do is press control F9 and it says select the test to run and we'll just select the whole class run them all or we could select to run one of the methods and we'll press enter and as you can see down here in the console the test ran and they succeeded or we can look at it in the visual view and again you can see it's all green so we succeeded here so there you have it thanks for watching my name is Charlie Calvert for more information go to www.elvenware.com slash charlie